They owned it, but son. Sorry about that, everyone. I had a uh, parent meeting going on over here at the kids' school and lost track of time. So jumped on as soon as I saw the text message. So sorry, guys. Jumping on late here. That's okay. I just got on too. <laughs> Do we want to um, start talking about classes or anything? Sure. Let's see. Well, we're waiting for everyone. Do we want to hear some updates from our language teachers? I know it's the end of the school year, so anybody that's teaching in uh, the classroom might have updates. Um, we'll have our next community class in Norman at, when is it? March 13th, I mean, May 13th. So not next Monday, but the following Monday after Mother's Day. And uh, I think um, um okay, uh, Courtney has a family emergency, so she won't be getting on. So we could probably send prayers her way. I don't know what kind. Um, Cricket, what's the time on that? in-person session what time does it start um the community class the, the community class one starts at seven and that's once a month um but there's also an in-person only and it's for like teacher candidates that are trying to learn our pronouns and stuff and that's every monday about 6 30. And that's all at District 7. And um, Warren started a class on Tuesdays. And it's a beginner, kind of like sounds and stuff. So his is on Zoom. Did that help you, um, Ms. Velma? Did I answer your question? Oh, so uh, the one that you had Monday night, was that uh, your practice practice time? Yeah, that's just, that's for the teacher candidates um, that are trying to learn our pronouns, basically. Oh, so do you need us there, the mentors? Mm, Dane's running it, and you can come if you want to, but I don't think you have to. Okay, all right. But I have you guys down for the community classes being the actual teachers. All right. So but it is what, cool. but what do you, what do you, what is it that you think, Kuta uh, Is, well, it, is because, that the in is that the NRP for May 13th? Yes, N V R. Okay. Or N V R. Yeah. N V R. Where did I get? Oh. N R P N B R, yeah. M V P N V R. What what are you what what are you thinking, Kuto Hintali? Because I know it's Courtney and Allison and you and um Dane were the ones that kind of set that up. Oh, so um it would be it'd be very helpful because um Kind of one thing that Dane was talking about that first time that uh, you got to sit in 
um, Velma uh, was really helpful because it allows us to kind of ask <clears throat> questions on whether or not things are, well, I mean, more or less being said right. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, kind of with uh, certain pronouns being used or if um, like a noun should be like if it takes a long form or a short form, like for instance, a da or a can both mean tree, but depending on how the rest of the sentence is, um, he was just saying that that's helpful. Okay, so I got to take a call real quick. Okay. Hey, am I muted? You are not. We hear you. Dang it. How do I do that? How do I mute and turn um, my freak? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, he, he was saying that Monday that, um, like, we have the charts and everything from, you know, uh, Daniel Harbour and information from um, uh, Parker McKenzie. Um, but it is, it it's good to hear, like, what somebody that are you know already speaks Kiowa um like if something sounds correct and I got there about 6 30 on Monday and I, it didn't really get started till about seven so what so what time then seven or 6 30 I'm in high goal. I think Courtney was saying 6.30. Are we talking about, are we talking about Warren's class? No, we're talking no. about the additional Monday night class oh, okay. uh, for uh, language, for uh, teachers that are trying to learn our pronouns, like second level learners. Didn't we get an email about that with the times and everything? Mm -hmm. Did anyone... I feel like I saw an email somewhere. Or, yeah, yeah. Um, Courtney sent one out. Yeah, Courtney. Yeah, Courtney sent one out um, with all the dates of the sessions, and then I think they sent a. There was a follow up with the revised dates, but yeah, Courtney sent. Okay. Let me see what it. Let me see. Okay, Should she said. Let's see, six thirty, Miss Velma. She said. First, third, and fourth Mondays, 6.30 to 8.30 at District 7. Yeah, that's and, right. And then second Mondays is the community class from 7 to 9. And that's the NVR one. Okay, so is this one usually to study Kiowa level one and two? The first, second, I mean, yeah. First, third, and fourth one? No, the one we're in right now. Oh, yeah. Upper level, level two, um, and where we get it's from the credentialing board, and then we... Um, also be able to go over the different lessons and resources and then we practice based on we do breakout rooms we do lots of things but basically covering all the components of credentialing and we try to include conversation practicing, uh, the conversations that will be used during credentialing um, and then we uh, practice we've been practicing this we've been looking at the stories the read alouds for level two um, and working on nouns, pronouns, verbs, but we've done like kinship terms and grammar and all the things required for the language portion of the credentialing. Awesome. Okay. And then Monday nights is kind of the same thing for credentialing. Like, yeah, it's a more kind of intensive focus uh, for in person for level two for people who want to do level two. Okay. What about beginners? 
where would be a good place to start for beginners? Because um, exactly. I have a few people and one of them is on now, uh, Marissa. She's one of my former students. Um, she's interested in teaching in K through 12. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go over all the different um, community classes, classes that are available. Should she apply to be a teacher champion, teacher candidate? Um, so she knows kind of just kind of how the, how the layout is and who are the department's community partners are. So, um, so yeah, so Marissa, you might be feeling too shy to introduce yourself. Do you feel up for doing that? It's okay if you don't. Oh, sorry. My, I'm muted and everything because my son's running around right now. That's okay. Libby's over here sitting on the couch. So it's all right. <laughs> I get it. But yeah, um, uh, Marissa is one of my former students. Uh, she, um, is listening. So let's go over it. Okay. So Wednesday night classes are from six to, or from seven to eight 30 every Wednesday. Right. And it's for level one and two Monday, the first third and fourth are in person. Is that correct? Paul, oh. where at district seven office. That's in, that's a, Norman. where is that in Norman? Um, okay. So. Yeah. Okay. And that's and then, 6.30 to 8.30, level two. And so she wouldn't really need to worry about that as a beginner right now. Um, but probably start it going to Warren's classes where he starts with, you know, the phonetics and the sounds would be a good place to start. But Marissa, just to kind of fill you in. So uh, cricket, cricket, and well, where should I begin? Melody started the KLCRP grant, right? Mm -hmm. So, okay. So everything we do, oh. this department, the teachers and the schools, like everything, she wrote a grant a few years ago. I'm going to say this as like quickly as possible. So probably going to skip a lot of stuff. Wrote a grant. Mm -hmm. We got it. We've been doing this for a few years. I kind of been in and out, you know, uh, still not credentialed. It's on my to-do list. It's going to happen. Um, I just need to buckle down right now. I'm trying to get the department in order. Um, but now we're an official department. We're not completely reliant upon grants. Kiowa is being taught in public schools in Oklahoma as a world language. You do not have to have a college degree to teach it, but you do have to be credentialed by the board. And that's where all these people come in. So like Ramon is credentialed. Uh, Ms. Harrigera is one of the board members and one of our elders. Um, one of our mentor advisor, mentors and advisors. Um, so is Miss Eisenberger. Um, so I'm just kind of like briefly introducing you, but there are a lot of moving parts because we have two grants that um, basically have these goals and objectives that we have to accomplish as people trying to continue the language, you know, and, and, and preserve and continue the language and teach the language. But uh, there's also a, an official department now, and we have staff on site as well. So it's just a lot going on. But if you want to teach, if you want to teach, uh, you need to apply on, it's posted on our Facebook page now. Um, and I would like to get it, I need to get with Tara and get it posted on our uh, website, uh, or the Kiowa website on the language page. Um, and we'll go through applications. And we'll see who's really serious, you know, and who really wants to commit to this. And you'll go through a year of training. You'll attend these these classes, whether it be on Zoom or you attend some of the in-person classes. Um, and then after the end of a year, you will go through the credentialing process. And if you are credentialed by the credentialing board, that's when we would start to look for um, places to to put you in, in the public school system or Probably by that time, there are going to be plenty of public school systems who will need teachers within the next year. So um, just to reiterate, Marissa, you're the only one that showed up tonight. I taught you. So I know that you are a smart, smart young lady. And I know that you have great work, work ethic. And I know you have a little one that you need to provide for. And I think you would make an excellent teacher. So if you would like to, you know, fill out that application and dedicate some time once a week, right? Our candidates have to go to two hours 
is it two hours every week? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, you need, you would need to attend weekly, you know, really dedicate. I mean, it's two hours, it's two hours of your time, but that you're not going to learn a language in two hours out of a week. You will have to dedicate time every day, you know, to study and set goal posts for yourself and hold yourself accountable. Um, and then once, once the year is up, you, you do the, go through the credentialing process. And if you, if you pass, you can, you can, you will be certified to teach a world language in public schools. So any questions? Um, did you say the link was on the website or like the web, the applications on the website? It should be on the Facebook page. Uh, Darren said today that he posted it, but it isn't on the Kiowa website yet. I, I think we should put it up there. Okay. And uh, Chelsea and Marissa, um, I can go, I'll look and I'll grab the link right now and I'll see if I can put it in the chat also. So this chat. Okay. okay. <sighs> and um, another thing that we can do is, um, so there's like a whole checklist to for uh, level, level one teacher candidates that you'll be completing like throughout the whole process of the year. And there's little videos on there that you'll watch to get your training hours. Um, so those are things, there's some things that you could start on once you apply and, you know, you get accepted and all that. There's some things that you can start on. And so you'll work with uh, Chelsea and her staff to schedule some time to go over all those other pieces. And then um, to focus on like the language learning here in on the Wednesday Zoom sessions, we have uh, most of our archival language credentialing board members, well, actually all of them off and on throughout the year and um, several other mentors that come on and we all practice different aspects of our language learning. So Wednesday sessions are a good opportunity to um, bring questions like if you're like, hey, you know, I, I've always wanted to know how do you pronounce this word or if you need a translation of something. We always have time during our Wednesday sessions for people to ask questions of our mentors and they're always very willing to help us out and they will guide us through the correct pr pronunciation and translation of things. So it's um, it's a really good opportunity because we have their undivided attention and they, they're here with us every, every Wednesday evening. Um, and so we've been meeting on Zoom since uh, May of 2020, like this every Wednesday. So it's been going on for quite a quite a while. Um, and um, we've been meeting on Wednesday nights uh, for the Anadarko group since January of 2017 for me So and several of us. Um, so that's how long uh, we've been doing this. And um, it's, it's just amazing opportunity to have all of our elders that attend the sessions and have learned how to use Zoom throughout the years. And so we get their undivided attention every week. So it's a great opportunity. Um, I encourage you to look into it. I'll look for that link and we're all here to support you. And you know, any questions you have, there's we can always like jump into a Zoom breakout room and work on specific pieces. Um, you know, there's, we're all here to support each other. So uh, you're in the right spot if you want to learn Kiowa and especially if you want to teach it. We definitely need teachers. So awesome. Anybody else that's interested in going into uh public school, like she said, there's a lot of schools that are saying they want to add Kiowa and we don't have enough credential teachers to put them in there. So we need anybody that's interested in doing this and really trying, it's not, and it's not like French, it's not like Spanish. It is, um, it's a, uh, it takes time and effort and dedication and, um, but but it's very, very extremely rewarding. So it's just way more re rewarding than French or Spanish. So <laughs> if you're Kiowa anyway. So um, anybody else that's interested, please let them know to join on um, or, you know, at least see if they want to and then fill out the form that uh, Miss Chelsea was talking about.
Okay, I put the link uh, from Facebook uh, in the chat. So hopefully that will work. If someone could click on it and just tell me if it's, I don't know if I copied it correctly. Hopefully it works. It, it works. Yay. All right, awesome. Um, so let me see. We do have quite a few. Um, so we have myself, um, Cricket, Gutonghi Tully, or Hentema, Gutonghi Tully. Um, and then we have Kathy and uh, Aunt Carolyn, um, Carolyn Colley. Uh, so we're all level one credential teachers. And for level one, we're all working towards our level two. Um, and um, we oftentimes have level, one, there's a several, uh, they're not on tonight, but there's several individuals that join our Wednesday sessions because they're working towards level one. Um, and so what we've been doing for the past um, couple months in the, these Wednesday sessions is there's gonna be an in-person uh, Kiowa language credentialing opportunity in a session in May, on May 18th. Um, where the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board is going to basically be assessing um, level one and level two teacher candidates who are, are ready to do kind of the, the Kiowa language oral assessment portion of the um, credentialing process. And so that's what we've been doing in these sessions is we've been really working hard to practice our grammar, our conversations, uh, reading our story, read alouds, uh, getting feedback just so we can prepare and make sure we're ready if we want to do that in-person uh, credentialing session on May 18th. So um, periodically throughout the year, the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board will schedule these credentialing sessions. And um, we always encourage uh, people who are interested in becoming a teacher candidate um, or who are have not yet um, been level one to attend the sessions. Um, just to kind of get a sense of what it's like. Um, and it's also a good chance to kind of uh, shake the nerves out because then when it when it gets to be your turn to go in front of the credentialing board, it won't be as intimidating because it is it is a process, but um, we're super excited um, because, you know, it's it's our language and it's part of reclaiming who we are as people. So it's our goal to eventually restart the transmission of our language in our homes. And we're starting with what we can and what we can do with reaching students in schools um, and also in the community. So as a credential teacher, um, you can also teach community classes. Um, you can teach college classes. Um, and I know the emphasis right now is uh, public schools because Oklahoma does have that world language option. Uh, for, and we're looking for credential teachers who can teach in um, public schools. So um, pretty exciting times. So very glad to have you here. Aim hey bay. <laughs> well, since are y'all gonna are y'all gonna be studying for the uh credentialing? Uh, is it a, a test or evaluation um at the end of the month? Is that what tonight is for? Because I'm just asking because if if that's if that's on the agenda, I need to get off and I don't wanna like just leave Marissa hanging. And I don't want her to feel like, oh, my gosh, you know, what are they saying? Or, you know, because sometimes it can be kind of um, like intimidating when you're learning something new. So I was just going to I'm going to hop off and I didn't want to leave her. So, you know, maybe she's maybe she should start with the the uh, Tuesday classes where they start with the sounds and everything or she can stay. I don't know. What do you think, Melody? Um, so, I mean, everyone's welcome to stay and listen in and just kind of see what we do. But I know that we, there are some of us who are really trying to do that level two, which is a little bit harder than the level one. So we've been like kind of stressing out about <laughs> getting that done. Um, so we have been using these times to practice for that specifically. Um, but uh, I would, if there is the Tuesday class going on, uh, what is it, next week? I would highly recommend checking that out just as a way to kind of get more comfortable with the language. I know uh, for me, when I first started, it was super intimidating for me to talk to my mentor. 
Um, I was scared all the time. I didn't know how to ask questions. I had to learn all of that. Um, and over time, we just got more and more comfortable. And then now we have all these amazing mentors who join us on Zoom and are just willing to answer any questions we have. So um, they are very, very um, chill, very laid back. They'll, they're willing to you know, answer any questions, um, but it's also no pressure. So if um, you feel like you have enough information and you wanna kind of explore and like do that application and check it out, um, there is a, um, I was gonna suggest some videos. So there's like some videos um, that are available um, on, I'm trying to think of where they are. Uh, Cause there's like a little um, overview of the checklist. And also there's some videos that have like the sounds of Kiowa and some specific things that are specific to the credentialing process. Um, so it's up to you, Marissa, if you want to hang out and kind of just listen in and kind of see what we do, um, but also no pressure because um, we kind of go in like a cycle. So when it when we get close to these credentialing in-person times, we kind of focus on those. So we all feel prepared. Um, and then usually um, over the summer and then into like August is when we kind of like restart. That's when like a new group will join us. And then we kind of break up into breakout rooms and we try to meet people at the different levels they're at. Um, and so the past few weeks, we've just been like focused on the level two. Um, so it might feel a little bit overwhelming at the moment, just because we've been in the middle of stuff. So, um, but you're welcome to listen in. Um, and uh, I would probably suggest maybe starting with the Tuesday sesh, Tuesday classes, just to get more familiar with the language and kind of start with some of the basics. Um, and then um, whenever you're ready and after you, if, you know, after you apply and get all the, get the orientation and stuff, then you would probably start joining the Wednesday sessions as like an official candidate. Um, so I guess you would kind of be considering like auditing <laughs> this session, just listening in to see what we do. So totally up to you. No pressure. Um, was, what time are the Tuesday classes? What time? I think it's at seven. Seven okay. and um, uh, let's see. So, like the same time as the Wednesday classes. Ha, huh. yeah. Okay. And I can get, I can send you the link or the invite as well. So I'll get that to you. Okay. But I would also I would always join this class too, even if you just want to say I'm listening in today because it will get you um. Uh, understanding what you're going to need to be doing as a teacher candidate. That one gets you ready to be a teacher candidate as far as like the sounds and and uh, the basic sounds of Kiowa. But this one is the stuff that you will be um, doing. Okay. Let me see. All right. Well, I'm going to hop off here and spend some time with Libby. Um, and, uh, I, I, I'm going to start joining, you know, it's just right now I'm trying to, so, cool. I think we lost you, Chelsea. Oh, uh, I'm going to hop off here and, uh, take care of Libby. I'll be joining classes more often because I want to get credentialed. Um, but you know, it's, it's been a rough week, uh, so I, I'm I'm gonna take it easy tonight, and I'm I am gonna study, but I'm gonna do that independently, and I'm gonna spend some time with my kiddo. So I'm gonna get off here, and you know, just one last thing I'll say. Uh, tomorrow I hope to get to drafting our newsletter for the elders and get that distributed as soon as possible. So um, be looking for that. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna head out. Hey, God, ball, oi, ball, and ball. Oh, hey, God. Oh, thank you, Chelsea. Oh. I got Okay, cricket <clears throat> on this class that Warren's teaching. Is it every week or once a month or how often? I'm I'm looking. Let me see. Tara sent it to me. Um, hold on, let me look. Uh, it's on the District Seven, um, like feed. So, like, if you go on the Kiowa Tribe website, go on District Seven, and you can find it. Um. 
I want to say it's every Tuesday, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, let me see. All right. Hmm. 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 Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's clean up. Have to go. I know for Tulsa language class. Month. Okay. Oh, I already signed up for it. <laughs> when is it? I think who knows? Carolyn twice a month. Twice a month. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to look. I don't see. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything for it other than the link to sign up for it. Okay, so do you know what dates those are? I mean, are they first and third or? Um, I'm not for sure. I think it's every other week. So if he met last Tuesday, and we didn't meet last night, or I didn't know anything about it, if they did. And so it must be next Tuesday. Okay, the next Tuesday, Marissa. Um, the, what is that, the 7th? Yeah. Okay. Every other week, then. Hmm. How did I get on? Minimums and no overdraft fees. Okay. The reason banking with Capital One is an even easier decision than this. I guess Chelsea can send it to you. Yeah, even easier than that. What's in your Yeah. Well, with your home on the boat and RV, I'll find the progressive. We've got peace of mind. All right. <laughs> So, um, Kathy, how's your radio um, program going? It's going good. I do uh, Kiowa radio too on Saturday mornings. So I do two radio stations now. Uh, Okay. So, uh, what do you? What are some of the things that you do on there? All American Indian music uh, for the two-hour one. I, you know, I uh, introduce or you know say a greeting and a, an exit greeting, you know. And then on the Kiowa Talk Radio, it's just. Uh, I don't get too much time because uh, so many we chairman and team talk a lot, so <laughs> I only get like seven minutes a song <laughs> out of 45 minutes. I'm like, dang, okay. But yeah, he, he talks a lot, so. Um. Oh, anybody that's um, in VR, so make sure that you put your hours down and turn them in for April because it is now May. So, anybody that is a mentor. Or a candidate. We have five mentors, five candidates. Please uh, send your hours in. Chelsea likes to get that stuff in earlier, on time. Um, uh, so try to get them into me by the fifth. Okay. So we can get them. We can get them through. Forget Am I supposed to do that too, or no? Um. No, we had uh, five candidates 
and five mentors. Okay. So that was when somebody that was teaching Kiowa at one of the five sites. Like, oh. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. One day. Uh, tell uh, tell Charlie I played uh, the horny toad last night. He can go back on the archives and listen to it. But I played one of their songs last night. Oh, which one? Uh, a simulation nation or something like that. Okay. It, yeah. It's pretty good. I'll tell him. All right. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. So, what do y'all want to go over? We have what? Oh, ye, oh, ye, we have ye get elders on. Uh, Kathy, Melody, and Gutahin Tali of or Gum Gig Gum Gib Pog. Gum Gib Dog Yama and Gutahin Tali of our. Doing something right now. So, what do you want to go over, Kathy, with our elders? Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. I'm, she's starting to cry here. So, hang on a minute. <laughs> Might have to feed her real quick. One of the, I, I really liked when, um, let me grab my notes from last week. Okay. All right. So I was looking at them. I, I need to type them up. Hopefully, I can see these. Need more light here. Um, we had a. Uh, okay. So we had all these old sayings that Grandma Dorothy was helping us with. And remembering, her mind was just really going there last week. And it was really, really fun. Um, I didn't know if we wanted to go through those again. Um, or, uh, I know there was one that Miss Marion was trying to uh, figure out or get some clarification on. And I didn't know if you found it. Miss Marion, yep. the one that you were wanting to find. Was it? And I don't remember what it was. I couldn't. I couldn't hear. Yeah. I just wonder what was your comment. Oh, okay. I didn't hear. So you had um. What is that? I remember last week you were looking. You were wanting to know. There was a phrase that you were wanting to get clarification on, or you wanted. And I can't remember what it was, and I didn't know if you looked into that and found it or. Uh, just looking at the at my notes. Um, I don't know which one it was because we had about like eight different um, things that that we'd gone over. Uh, hot data lane home ta ta who will shake the gourd when uh when you do something good can, can y'all help say that did i say that correctly is there did it make sense Potato aim tone ta ta. It sounds like it should be 
I feel him thong bot da. Boss? And thong bot da. Thong bot is like a trumpet or giving out some information on a speaker or, you know, giving that word out. That's what that sounds like to me. Okay, so this one is supposed to say, who will shake the gourd? Not a ton of young people. I would like How do you say that? Oh, I think Dorothy was saying something about. Uh, oh, gourd is different from a a bugle or an announcer, isn't it? Um, how do you say that word for gourd? It's um, I just had it in my mind and just skipped when I start talking. Um, tonga, tonga is a gourd. Okay. That's yeah. what it was. Tonga. Yeah, Tonga. Tonga. Okay. Okay, so okay. So hot that lamb, Tonga ta. Is that correct? Or is it just hot they lamb tonga? That no, that doesn't work. It might have met the end might have been daw or something like that. Da, okay. Yeah, daw. You will do that. Tonga da. Marion, do you remember that them talking about it last week? Yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Tonga, it's like a gourd, like when they gourd dance, you know? Yeah. Tonga. Yeah. Um, does somebody know how to say that? No. Or where I can say it quickly? Hot day lame tongue da da. Star da. I think it should be da at the end instead of da because you're saying who will do this? Who will say this? Okay. We'll do that. Okay. Okay. So, okay. Oh, there she is. She's so cute. Hey, lady. I wonder who had that written down. Come look at her. She's so cute. Look at her. Look at her little hair. That's how we used to do sister's hair. She always makes me happy. Yay. Okay. So, um, Hotelin Tonga Tha. Is that correct, Miss Marion and Miss Pula? It's like saying who's going to shake that rattle and make that noise for them or tell whatever, you know? Yes. Ta. Yeah. yeah. Did, did, that, did that sound correct when I said it? What do you think, uh, Marion? <laughs> Miss Marion, are you there? Is that, does that oh. sound correct when I said that? That's it. I couldn't hear. I couldn't hear. What did you say, Martha? Oh. Um. Hot Dale and Tonga. Hot Dale is who? Yeah. And Tonga. Tonga yeah. is who's the rattle and thaw, who's going to do it? Yeah. And you, you're oh, name a specific God. item. You know, who's going to check the rattle for you? That's what I'm hearing, but yeah. I'm not sure if that's what you need. See if that looks right in there. That's, that's not. Because that's would be who will shake gourds. 
that's what what that's the whole thing and that's right there the way more than I said with me and real isn't that kind of what Dorothy said mm -hmm. last week? Oh. Okay. Yeah, that that's what I was trying to that her. <laughs> yeah, she was talking very fast and oh we couldn't get her to say it again because I don't think she quite understood that we want her to to pronounce the word again. About yeah. Um, that's what I was asking for to do. But um, I don't think she heard me. But that was the English translation that she mentioned. Who will shake the gourd down the courts? Who will shake the courts? Okay. And so when I when I say that, does it sound that you can understand what I'm saying if I say potel aim tonga to? Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Um and that was like for instance, when you do something in a good way, who's gonna be around to shake that good for you because they're happy that you you yeah, did like, that. Mainly kind of almost saying like who's gonna speak for you, give that good news out to people, you know that thing. Ah. Oh. Okay. Mm. The other one that I have written down, I guess y'all talked about it earlier, but didn't get it. Um oh no. Um so Gya bon na time so they got on hay da. Gya bon na time so they got zon hay da. Yes, that one. Oh, the cross side. Cross side, no teeth. I yes. looked at that. I looked at that person, and they cross-eyed and had no teeth. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put it in here. Boom. No. Right. Can you say that one more time, Miss Velma? Did I say it right, Martha? <laughs> <clears throat> Martha, on day. Did, did I say that right? I uh, I would. Corky was talking to me, right? Oh, you, oh, 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 oh. Am I right, though? Yeah, yeah. Bone. Uh, I saw they go. So I saw they go. So hey, dog. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You know, you're getting introduced to somebody you don't know, and. You think, man, me might be a good looking guy you're looking at, but by the time you really look at him, he might be cross side and no teeth. You know? <laughs> They'll be looking the other way and when they turn around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they better look good. <laughs> look at them good. Okay. Okay. There's that one. Okay. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna try to say that. So guys, tell me if I'm saying it correctly. Yeah, bone not time so they go zone handle. I saw day. Yes, I'm oh. saw day. Saw day, not so day. Saw. I saw. I saw day. I saw day. I saw day. Yeah. I'm so day. Zone thing. Like you say, what? I'm going to change that. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what, what made Dorothy think about that. 
<laughs> you thought of a lot of things last week. That was good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. Let me know if I'm saying it correctly. Yeah, yeah, bon not. I saw the girls on Yeah, I did. Yes. Is that okay? Okay, I changed that. Okay. Okay. I'd like okay. to. You wanna try? Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah, bon not. I saw the girls on Good. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. oh, does anybody else want to try? I'll try. That's Melody. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, ball not tie so they got so hate dog. That pronunciation is I so day, I so day dog. I so day. I so day. Hot so hot. Hot. I so day. Carolyn, do you want to try? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, Let's see. Then the other one, I think y'all went over this earlier before I got on, but it was so uh kun ma so thoughtful. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. That she was on the wrong foot. So oh. somebody say that correctly. <laughs> oh, let's see. Because it was before I got on. So, so say it again, Cricket. Okay. I wrote down, because it was something that one of y'all said, but I didn't get to, you know, hear it earlier. But I've... So, uh, kun, ma, so, look, so, 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 ma, so, ma, so, so, so. Okay, that first part, <laughs> I'm getting it. That sokun means kind of crossed, you know, mixed up. Where is that? Okay, I can't hear that part. Right at the beginning, after shoe. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Boom. Oh, okay. Right I was putting it. I don't know what word for. Saddle? Ma saddle? Ma saddle? Ma saddle means to have it on. That. You got your shoes on crooked. That's really what the whole thing is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so can you can y'all say that again for so I can maybe try to type it right? <laughs> so so I can't even think of the word. Is that how is that correct? Say it again. Don't, oh. Don't. ดอดออกคืนเนี่ยมาเซลโตตอกคืนคืนโตตอกคืนอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอืมอ
Tot akun matero. So, 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 It's really kind of like malt sale at that. That's how you have your shoe on. It's someone's looking at you. Okay. okay so here. Like you, you say, twist it up. You don't hear that word too much. Crooked. Yeah. That's what it means. Malt sale is the crooked part. Yeah, you got your shoes on backward. Your left to your right. Your right to your left. Okay. Okay. Sell. Sell. Twist it up like a rope okay. or something. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that. Oot of oot. Mot sale. Like. Mot uh, uh, mm. uh, sale. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try it again. Tot a coon mot sale. Mm -hmm. Malt sale. It will be malt sale. Malt sale. Mm -hmm. did, did, if you can see in the chat, does that look right, Miss Pula? We look and see. Pull it up here. This one. Mm -hmm. So, uh, um, malt sale. That's that's good. You think that's okay? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, okay. uh, so you're talking about the shoe and in the middle you have the word for crooked and the last part of this how they have them on. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Do we want to try that where we can say that? See if we get the right, the correct sounds. Okay, I want to try. Let me know if I'm saying it correctly. Mm-hmm. You did a good pronunciation of it. Okay. Ha. Huh. All right. Does anybody else want to try? Okay. I think that's everything on this page. So, do takun ma sale. Ma, ma, sale. It's ma, a number, ma, all sound, all. Ma, sale. Yeah, ma. because it, what you're saying is you're looking at that person. They have their shoes on backward, you know, <laughs> and you're saying it looks like they're sitting in those shoes like that, or they got their feet in that shoe like that. Cook it. It's basically oh. about what that's saying, you know. Okay. Ma, sale is your feet in your shoe like that. Ma, sale. Uh huh. Ma, sale. Okay. So, you know, sail is to be setting something somewhere. Something setting in something. Sail. Oh, uh, I, have a, I have a question on that. Mm -hmm. oh. With that M-A? I don't know why I thought it was M-A-U. If the sound is M-A-U. It is a sound. Ma, it's a hard, it's a long, the letter A in there. It's a long sound. Ma, sail. Oh, well, how do you tell the difference? Because uh, when I see the A itself, it's like, ah. Yeah. Um, so how, do, how do I distinguish that? When I see that M-A, I'm going uh, to I'm gonna look at it and say ma instead of Okay, ma. if you are marking it like it's written there, you would put a, um, a diacritic mark going up on the A, or you huh. could put that U in there to get that sound. Yeah. Do I need but, to put a U in it? Because I can't. Ms. Whichever is easier for you guys to learn it from or remember. Ma, ma tzedel or ma. Is it ma tzedel or ma tzedel? Ma tzedel. It's really okay. what it is. Ma tzedel. It's okay, a let me change o. it then. O sound. Ma tzedel. <clears throat> okay. Ma tzedel. Ma. okay. It looks gonna... like they're sitting in their shoes crooked, basically. Okay, I'm going to put a U in it then. Ma. Okay. Ma okay. 
Okay, so X. it's like that right. one Mo Mohangi Atan. Remember that? Mohangi Atan. It's put me back in a different place in my memory. That remember that one? Want a beautiful weed free lawn? Call a leaf lawn care today. Uh, good thing he totally had a question. Is it oh. mall saddle or mall saddle? It's really mall tail because that sound is mall. Looks like someone has their feet in a crooked set of shoes. <laughs> it, like I said, that that mall in there for um, good to me and you um, asking a question. Um, cricket is remember that saying that. Like I said a while ago, uh, Dorothy told, told us that one time. She said, Mall Hagia Tan. You know, she said, it put me back into a memory of time. So that, that's kind of giving you a, a kind of a time frame or something in that one. Okay. But that's pronounced the same way. Okay. That Mall Hagia Tan. Okay. So, so soon. Oh, uh -huh. It looks like somebody sits, got their feet in crooked shoes. It's basically what they're saying. Oh. So is it a T-S or just a S? It's a word for um, setting something is tail. Tail. I would say T-S-E-L. Yeah. Okay. T-S-E-L. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So there's that one. Okay. So I'm going to try... So, so un mal cero. Anybody else want to try? So talk un mal cero. All right. Um, the other one was that I wrote down was eight they bake e coo I can't do that one he said that's build a big fire <laughs> yeah build a big fire eight yeah good job um okay okay build and uh, a yeah, a fire or your own fire or something. Yeah, and that was uh, mm -hmm. or build your own fire, mm -hmm. and um, that's what you tell that supple when he's hooting at you. Oh, oh, he said that it's what the supple is telling us. Yes. He's saying it. Oh. oh. The and owl said, is talking. Yeah. He said because, because you're going to build a fire so you can burn the stuff yeah. of the person that's passed away. Be awesome. Yeah. It has that hoo 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 sound, you know, when you hear them out there. Mm -hmm. And so they put the words in there. Eight they bake e It just goes with the sound. They bake e like that owl's making that sound out there, and so they put those chiral words in that point. And he's telling you to build a big fire. It's coming from the owl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's kind of what I have on here. Okay. Right and um, eight, eight, they bake e -ku. Eight, eight, they bake e -ku. Build your own, build a fire, but for that reason. Okay. And then, does anybody else want to try that? Did I say that correctly? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Okay, and then the other thing I had written down. Peter, I failed though. What did you say, Miss Thelma? I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. 
Somebody said something. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Kiala uh, da. What is that? Hey, hey, guy, don't get a kiala da. What was that? I didn't write it down. You have homework. I heard you talk. Um. Okay. Um. So what was that one? What are you saying? Y'all are doll. I don't know. Was that one about you think my words are fire or something like that? Oh, yeah. Where was that one? Let me see if I can find that one. How that old? Oh, that one. I I think that one's eighth day, but geeku. No, 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 no. no. That, that one's the other one. The oh, one oh, oh never mind. Old. Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, remember uh, it's like not not yeah, hey go is it hey go pedal but pedal do something like that. <laughs> I don't know I, if I, I think it I got it. it. It's not uh, tongue yeah, hey go pedal but pedal but pedal do you not tongue yeah it's it's no that's not right. He yeah, yeah, you think you don't listen, you think my words are fire. Yeah, don't get he got pedal bot fatal though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't take them seriously. <laughs> Where are you gonna go? Okay, so na thong ya. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's what I have right there. Okay, that was that one, Miss Velma. I'll try. I'll try that one and let me know. Y'all can tell us if we're saying it correctly. Na thong ya oh, well that's supposed to be in nasalized in. Na thong ya pedal bot fatal do. Is that okay? Good what pronunciation of it. Um, like, um, you think of my words like fires. It's like you're not taking it serious, you know? <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's like fire and it's gone, you know? So you don't think about it. Okay, so... P.O. Then fatal though. Can you can you spell the whole thing out, Gutahitali? Instead of peel, are they saying pioba? Pioba? Yes. Yeah, that could be used. Okay. okay. So let me oh, change that. Here, trying to hear uh, Miss Marion. Are you asking me something? Oh, oh, I think you were saying uh on that fire part, P.O. Ba. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, it's not yeah, Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then she said yeah, failed it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna change that and put that see what yeah, like fire. Got the in again. It's it's talking about you though. So where do I put the you part? Beldo. 
Um, that's the way she said it. I don't know. No, don't guess my words. Yeah, speaking. P.O.B. likes the fire. Yeah, P.O.B. Think of it. P.O.B. P.O.B. Like a fire. Like a fire. And that's not light a fire, that's like a fire. Yeah. Now, this makes a lot of sense rather than they just use that word peel. Yeah. Okay. Not don't get peel, bug. Do you put the ya fatal though in there? Peel, bug, bot fatal though. Bot, you all think of it like that. Bot, okay. Because that bot is all of you. Think of it okay. Like all right. Mm -hmm. So do good mm -hmm. thing, Kali. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I just copied this. So let, well, we'll try that one again. Okay. Not don't get P.O. Bob bot fatal though. That sound okay? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. It's more sense, I think. A little more sense. Okay. It's clear. It's clear. You know? Okay. Yeah. Miss, Miss Marion, can you say that one for us? I said, uh, 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 fatal though. You think my words are like fire. Okay. 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 Ms. Thelma, can you say that one for us? Uh, not, let's see, wait. Not don't, yeah. Let's see. Wait now. Uh, not don't yeah. P. I, I go ahead and have uh, Martha say it. Okay. I, I gotta I gotta step away for a few minutes. My little don Sean needs help. Okay. All right. Miss Pua. Okay. Not don't yeah. P. O. Ba. Ba. Bell though. And it's okay. kind of a put down in a way because it's not like you're taking it seriously, whatever that person is saying, you know. So that's that's really the whole gist of it. You're kind of scolding, scolding somebody. Yeah, it's like you're not listening to me and getting on everything you're supposed to. So you're not, you know, real serious about that person's talking to you. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Not don't get P.O. Bob, but fatal though. That's good. Yeah, that's good pronunciation. Does anybody else want to try? Oh, I'll try. No, don't get P.O. Baba Perdo. Does anybody else want to try? All right. Okay, and then. The one that you just said, Miss Pula, earlier was Ma Hagia Atsan. Ma Hagia. Ma Hagia. With that. Hagia is somewhere. Ma Hagia Atsan. Okay. And it's like you took me back in memory to a place that I knew before, you know, that thing. It's almost like I went to another place by what you said, you know. Moha Gap, son. Oh. All right. I'm already smiling since you already put it in there. Okay. You took me back in memory. I guess you put it like <laughs> another. Okay. Okay. Then let's see. So what was this that I wrote down? Kyala da. Hang on, don't get Kyala da. Says and it says wonky head. 
I don't know. What did I write? I don't know what I wrote down. Okay. That's the only one I don't know that I wrote down. Okay. Let's go over here. You can skip that one. Oh, let me see my phone. All right. So day mon Pete. Can't read all my stuff. I did have a um, question about a song I had heard that I'd like to ask. Okay. Oh. Um, I'm gonna try to. I'm, uh, I'm gonna just sing it once through, um, and then I would on. Um, well, I need a little help with the translation because I feel like I I can understand part of it, but then also the context in which it uh, in which it would be sung, or I guess what for. So. <clears throat> Oh, uh, cool. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Don't you pay the key that I can't for him, dog? Don't you pay the key that I can't for him, dog? Don't you pay the key that I can't for him, dog? Don't you pay the key that I can for him, dog? I can't obey good key that I can for him, dog. Don't you pay the key that I can for him, dog? Don't you pay the key that I can for him? You pay the key that I can for him, dog. Don't you pay the key that I can for him, dog? You can't obey good key that I can for him, dog. Don't you pay the key that I can for him, dog? Don't you pay the key that I can for him, dog? Oh. 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 Yes, uh, because of God, right? Dog yes. a pain of kida yes. this day ain't gone for yum dog. Uh, let it be a good day or a wonderful day or yes. a blessed day. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And, it's kind of uh, like because of God, my life is calm and it's good. And then it adds on and says, and in the future, this will be like that because of him. Yeah, mm -hmm. because of God. Mm -hmm. Because of God, ain't gone for him, doll. Let it be a good day or let it yeah. be a blessed um, day or, you know. Mm -hmm. oh. I love that. I love that song. I know. Hear it. Oh. And, uh, so what what about um because i know there's a lot of songs that kind of have a protocol with them in which uh, they're supposed to be sung at certain times what what would this one fall under it sounds, seems to me like it's just a way of thanking god for having a good life uh him making it easy for you not necessarily that it belongs in some little group but you know you're kind of talking about yourself Ain't gone for you, doll. You're talking about that's the way my life is because he made it good. Okay. Kind of like a testimony, right? Yeah, kind of like a testimony. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like God, every day is good, dog. Capito, you made everything good because of, mm -hmm. like because of God. Yeah. Every day is good. And it's like a yeah. joyful, thankful mm -hmm. song. Oh, okay. Every day. And every day, every morning, you're asking a blessing. And like oh. Ramon, it's like if you have good health, you feel good, you can do things. That's what you're kind of giving thanks for. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good question, though. The Lord should know that song very well. The Lord knows that too. 
Oh. I, didn't, um, I have another um, that I also heard. Uh, I don't know. If that's do this too. <clears throat> Donkey Day, Donkey Day, Akoto Ah, no equipon, Akoto Ah, no equipon, Donkey Toy Dog, Donkey My Heat. That's kind of a praising God song, is what that is. You know, yeah, really that not... he saved you and you're glad and you're kind of thankful for it. It's like he saved me. Saved you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I didn't catch the other words. It says, says, God is first. God is first. Boy, yeah. Toy dog. Toy dog. Oh. Yes, God is first. He's, he's the highest. And, uh, oh. mm -hmm. and then uh, from there, he saved me. That's that's my great great grandpa's song. Mm. Really? Okay. An old song that people don't sing anymore. There's a, lot, a rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh. Is, is no, I think. To it? I think uh, Ramon. I would say that type of song that you're singing with the words like that is remember in church they call you and ask you if you want to come and join the church. Oh become oh. a member. You remember that? I right. Like that those words kind of fit there to me. Okay. This, this song by Edward Tudor. Yeah. This song by Edward Padongi I Ye on to was he had converted from beauty to Christianity. But uh, he really took that Christianity seriously. So he, that was his uh, song to praise the Lord. Oh. I uh, thought his Taiwan name you said Yi Hon, though, right? To earth, yes. Edward Penongi, standing under the sun, two hatchet. Okay. Ye honto. Edward two hatchet. Oh. Yeah, his other name, by standing under the sun. That was his. By dong yeah. Day. Uh, Marion, doesn't uh, yeah. That artist, that T C Cannon, didn't he say that was his name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, his uh, by dong ye day because that was Edwards. Uh, that was his name. Middle. Well, that was his Kiowa name, but. He, all of his sisters started, they used that as the family name, his sister Mary and Grace. And his sister Grace married a Tokoy. His last name was Cannon. And so that T.C. Cannon, that was his grandma. Grace Cannon was his uh, grandma. And so T.C. Um, he, used, uh, he asked permission to use by don't get gay as his artist name, which is standing under the sun. Oh. And so uh, Grandpa James and uh, 
Walter Cannon said, yes, okay, he could go ahead and use that. I don't get it. But that, that name is uh, used by all of um, Grandpa James. He used that, the whole family. They always use that as their real name. Christine by Donkey Day. Grandpa James, he's James by Donkey Day. Uh, so, uh, I uh, just kind of kept it in the family. Oh. Very interesting. Do you know uh, Deanne Willis? Miss Marion, one of your relatives. Uh, oh, here. yeah, yeah, I know. She's like she's yeah. like my other mom. She she's uh the daughter of uh, Bill Willis, and he's also from uh that was Edward's other sister. That's who she's descended from. Okay. Uh -huh. Because her father was that yeah, Bill Willis. He was that uh, a speaker of the House for the state Oklahoma legislator. Ah. That's interesting. She would love to hear this. <laughs> Stories. No, she knows it. She knows these I further educate her, but she knows the stories. Yeah. Um. Oh, aho. Obaha no outside, though. I think there was one more. Oh, the one more that I saw was um Thaba Saint Alia when your tears are streaming down. Is that correct? I should be Thabba's old. As Dolores, I say Thabba's old. Martha, what do you think? Yeah, if you want to say that uh, hey. tears are coming, you know, streaming down your face, it's like Marion said it. Okay. Yeah. How do you say that again? Daba. Zolia. Zolia. Zolia means it's rolling down like on your face, you know. Okay. Let me write that down. So, da, ba, um, Daba. 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 From your eye or by your eye. Yeah. It's, you know, streaming down your face. Oh. Zol, Zol, yeah, Zol, yeah. Okay. What was the other way to say it? Cricket, pronounce it again. That first one you did. Okay. Um. Thaba Saint Alia. It sounds like it means Thaba same all oh, yeah same means you're kind of hiding that you're crying but you're trying to oh. hide it a little bit. That's what I think that means. Okay, I say, okay. I same all oh, yes. I'm 
I'm crying, but I don't want nobody to know about it, you know? So okay. See, you know? Okay, that's okay, that's good. I need to write that down. It's a M instead of an N, same yeah. all. Yeah. It's an M sound. Same all. Okay. All right, Thaba. Same all. Yeah. Same all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm crying secretly, and I really don't want you to know that or see it or okay. something. I'm crying. Okay. Oh, that sounds okay that's that's good to know that's uh, yeah this is good because kind of under trying to understand some of the things that we said last week yeah that word same is always like trying to be hiding something you know get same thought though i mean if you're eating over there and you don't want to share it with somebody you're quietly eating you don't want to know anyone to know about it so that word can be used in a lot of different <laughs> sentences you know yeah. Uh, yeah, same thought is another thing too. Same thought, like you're stealing. Yeah, it's kind of like you're doing it underhandedly or where no one can see, <laughs> basically. That's why, oh, they call that one group same hot. Same hot. Is that same hot go? That's a stealer, so the thieves. <laughs> is, that a, um, is that Apaches? Who is that? Apaches? Yeah, the Apaches. Same hunt because they go steal the dry meat off the drying racks at night. That's when the, the Apaches, as a small tribe, kind of followed the Kiowa when they moved, you know, and camped just outside of them. Wait. That's what that came from. Mm. Otherwise, they're Tongui. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll put that on. But it also, it also refers to like, you know, people copy your cultural ways too. Name. Yeah. Marion, would you say it like this? All same hot likes to steal something or something. Oh, sure. Someone that likes to steal all the time. You know, all same hot. Same hot. That's right. That person has a problem. <laughs> I guess same thaw means someone's in there trying to steal something. <laughs> trying to figure that out. Same day, though. <laughs> might be same day. <laughs> okay. Might, it might be. Okay. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. What was that? Same. So I read my writing. Saying, I told you, you look good. Is that correct? Say that again. Saying, I told you. Saying, I told you. Saying, I told you. He said, I told you. Means sure is fancy. Fancy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm dope. Yeah. Oh, I'm, okay. Wait, wait. It's on dope. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let me write that down. Okay. Saying I dope. Dope. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Yeah. Dope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saying I dope. Yeah. Uh, what is that? You look fancy or you're being fancy? Is it you look fancy or you're being fancy? Look really look nice. Fancy. Dressed up and looking good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Thank you for the same. Cricket, that's oh, like saying if you're dressed up in your regalia and you're getting ready to dance and you don't often do that. 
and somebody saw you and they liked the way that looked, they would tell you that. They say, Yandokya. Okay. Yandokya means you look beautiful for that. You know, you look good. Say I don't care. Say I don't care. That talk to, uh, that old lady was singing about her husband, a snake. I think when she said uh, he looked good. You remember she said he looked good. Yes. Then okay. Yes, I remember that. But I thought we had it somewhere else. I wrote that down somewhere else too. Mm -hmm. Where did I write that down? Um. Okay. The other one was. Let's see. I can find it. Day day ma day ma Pete. What was that? Something earth or teeth. I don't know. I can't read what I wrote. To teach it. They mall Pete to teach it. I don't know. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, okay. Is it they mall Pete? Ask the Lord. Is it they mall feet though? Is that what you're saying? I I don't. I wrote it and it wrote. I wrote it really fast and I can barely read it. Okay. They mall feet though would be saying telling someone that you're begging for something. Hmm. Okay. You know, something and you're really wanting it and you're asking for it. They mall feet though it means I am begging for it. Hmm. Okay. I don't know if that's what it was. I just yeah. can't read it very well. Okay. And I think that was what... Because I write really fast and I can't... I should type them up right afterwards. I think that was it. Okay. Oh, home. They put, oh, yeah, that was from the... Um, going on the song i think that was it huh okay she's oh no, there was one more i'm sorry go ahead go ahead miss marion she said she said mom gooey made but she didn't put it in no sentence or anything mom gooey made what what was that Um, uh, going me is telling that someone's valuable, you know, that maybe you're talking about a person that, um, really can do things and they will help you. So they're kind of a valuable type of person. going me useful. Gooey, me. Useful or helpful or valuable. If somebody tells you like that, oh. you're getting a compliment. Okay. <laughs> I would say, I would say talented. Talent. Yeah. yeah. Or, you know, creative. Like yeah. Talent. Creative. Somebody can do things can. good. Right. Oh, I found that was a good one. I found that one. Aim. Obey, Amma. Um, that's where you're acting fancy. Aim Dolbe, Amma. Um, aim Dolbe, Amma. Um. Yes, that one. That's the way to say it, yeah. Aim. Like uh, somebody's trying to act good and pretty or good looking or something. <laughs> they're putting on the, they're putting on the ducky, hey. <laughs> On fancy airs. <laughs> yeah, putting on airs. Okay. Canola. Okay. That was the, I, I thought I heard that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Miss Mary. Oh, it's just using a slang. I just said snits. 
Dolby, trying to put on airs and graces that you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> acting, acting beautiful. Eh? Yeah, yeah, just acting and putting on the show. Yeah. Um, there's another one I, I didn't think we ever talked about, but I'm going to uh, bring that up. And it was um, on Gesson Mioma. Sometimes you hear that maybe at a powwow or something because someone is talking up there or doing something yeah. <laughs> uh, kind of big, you know, and they'll say, on your saw me almost like they're making it bigger than it is or something like that, you know. They so, exaggerate. Yeah, exaggerating what's going on. <laughs> and don't be that person. <laughs> okay. Okay. Leave that one. On your saw me almost. Uh -huh. Exactly. Oh. Trying to make things bigger than it is, you know. Okay. <laughs> or more awesome than it is. Hey, that's storytelling. <laughs> <laughs> you get bigger. Okay. Oh, okay. uh, that's a good one. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. Here was a uh, think This actually really might be the last one that I see. Um. Tone. Tone dong, yeah, the bone fat marrow. Tone day. Oh, Let's see. Oh, wait, no, not she that. Said, wait, I, I said, was just tone dong, yeah. Tone, tone dong, yeah. Yes. Tone, tone, tone dong, yeah. Tone dong, yeah. <laughs> that bone marrow, marrow, bone marrow. Tone dong, yeah. Within that bone, yeah, yeah, that inside uh -huh. of that bone, mm -hmm. down in that bone, yeah. Mm -hmm. And down. then Miss Marion said the stick to push it out with was tang dope. Is that correct? You just get does. that stick uh, and you, you put it in there and you yeah. just take it out and suck on it. <laughs> I know that I didn't, that I did that. Dope. It's what, Miss Marion? Dope. 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 Peel it and clean it up real good. Then you just poke it down in there and you get that marrow on there and you pull it out and you suck on it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's yeah. the stick that you That's use. Pain but it doesn't no. have the word stick like ah or ah doll. Hmm. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. I'm no. trying to um, because you're, to the, you're referring to the fat. You're referring okay. to the marrow, bone marrow. Yeah. Because pain dope is the uh, bone marrow. Mm -hmm. I mean, pain dope is that bone marrow remover. Mm -hmm. okay. And then um, dope is a tent peg. I call them tent stakes. Um, oh, yeah. Dope. Everything and so that word doesn't have needs. auto in there either. Like, you know, yeah. Yeah. What, what, how do I spell that one again? Home. Home. We'll have to rebuild it. Home. Don't it. Something like that. Home. 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 Let me write that down. P-O-N-D-O-P, pone? Pone dope. Pone dope. Like T-H. Yeah. Oh, like a T -H. Don't. Okay, don't. Okay. Okay. Stone dope. So you have tame dope, and then you have stone dope. Oh, for like house. Okay. Stone dope. Like that? Miss Pula? Oh, I didn't. Let me, send, let me send it through. Like that one, Miss Pula? 
It's got more of a T oh. sound, yeah. So you have that bracket on there. Uh-huh. So the, yeah, T sound. Tone soap. Tone soap. Tone. Ten steaks. Tone. Ten steaks. And that doesn't have the word ah in there or anything like that. That's okay. just what the name of it is. Uh -huh. Yeah. Teepee like pigs. Tent peg. I call them steaks. S-T-A-K-E-S. -E okay. That's the way we learn. They say, Tom Tope. Give me those steaks over there. That don't dope sounds more uh, more uh, like you could understand what it's used for more than the tain dope, right? Don't 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 dope. Tain is bone marrow remover. Then toy peel, uh, dope. Toy peel. Toy peel. Uh, uh, toy peel. Uh, what? Sweep the floor. Okay. What is that one now? Uh, it's a broom. Sweep. Toy yeah. peel. Uh, I need broom. a name. Okay. There's that one. Oh, broom. You know what I mean. Oh, you're talking about broom. I thought you were still talking about the bone marrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh. I took a picture of. Let's see. Toy peel. Toy peel. Oh, oh maybe I, I took an actual picture. No. I, I. I peel. I peel. I don't. Can you say it again? I peel. I don't. Toy. Oh, I got it. Oi, oh, Pete. Oi, oh, oh, Pete. Is that what? I do. I do. I do. I do. Sweeps the floor. Wait, wait, wait. Does that dope? That word dope means like a handle. I do. It's got that. What handle? Toy peel ah dope. So that soap is that is that um okay. I'm looking at um I have you yeah, can probably can't see it because it's too bright. I don't know. Nope, you can't see it. Anyway, so I have a looking at this TP thing, uh, and it has all the um oh. Uh, it has Parker McKenzie's um, uh, words on there that what each part of the teepee is. And so this one is steaks. Mm -hmm. And um, let me put, let me put it in the chat. Okay. And that is the teepee steak. So it's thon dope. Thon, oh, a T-H, that's a pop tea. On dope. Is that right? On dope. Yep. On dope. Don. See, this one has a T-H-A-U-N and then J-O-P, which is a T-D sound. That T-H is that popped P, or top popped T. On dope. Is that correct? Let me, let me just respell that. I'm going to spell it for how... Let me... The Parker way. J D D O P. Okay. On dope. Like that. On dope. Is that on correct, Miss Marion? Yeah, but it's more like an M sound. On dope. Yeah. On dope. On dope. dope. Okay. 
need to pop it on. Um, oh, then D O P. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try that one. Om dope. Om dope. Is that right? Does that sound better? Om dope. Om dope. Because there's a T sound on that last D. Om dope. Oh, <laughs> I can't do it now. Wait. Okay. Om dope. Mm -hmm. Om dope. Mm -hmm. Om dope. Okay, that's the stakes. Okay. And so that's that same, that dope sound. Okay. Bye, Kathy. You got my oi, bonta. So I have, so that's that same thing about the, the steak part in the, getting the bone marrow out and then, and then the broom. Okay. Uh, uh, Dope. Toy pedal. So you're wiping it. Toy pedal. So floor wiping. Uh, dope. They're cleaning the floor. Okay. Toy. Cleaning the floor. Toy. Uh, dope. You. Oh, ah, like A. Hey, okay. Okay. Got it. Let me redo that one. Okay. I got it. I'm understanding it now. Yeah, this is very helpful. Uh, dope. Okay. Okay. So that is sweep. So floor. Wipe. Wipe. These people were my neighbors. Now they have no part here with the rest of stick. Is that stick? Now are you telling somebody to do this or is it just a broom? Point pedal odd dope. Yesterday afternoon. If they've harmed her up. That's just the name of a broom. Oh, okay. That's just the description for the broom. Okay. So. Unless you ask someone to bring you the broom, then you have to put something before it. Prefix. Okay. Or a suffix. He wouldn't want me to stop. He said it's people like us who would make this country what it should be. People who don't give in. People who keep on. Okay, so that all that is just for that one word room. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I think I did it right. Toy pedal. Ah, uh, though. Oh, I need to put it all together because it's all one word. Uh. Who helped me make it a fitting this again. Let me try it one more time. Okay. Since it's all one word, it needs to all go together. Okay. Just broom. Broom. Okay. But if you say by toy, that means sweep the floor. By toy, it's just different. Okay. And so you would just, okay, let me do that one. As you say, toy, be a lot of babe. But you don't go and get the broom and sweep the floor, which is totally different. <laughs> you know, I'm more worried. Okay. A toy pedal sweep. You sweep the floor. Mm -hmm. And how did you say that last one again, Miss Marion? I do. I was just going to say toy pedal. Which means go to the broom and sweep. Okay, go get the broom and sweep, but I couldn't hear. Could could you hear it, Miss Hula, to put it in the chat? I yeah, ask Martha. Oh, there. Okay, I can hear you now. Martha. Okay. Or I could hear you when you just said it again. Could you <clears throat> say it again, Miss Marion? I can hear you now. Oh, I just said toy peel. I don't pay hard. Go back toy peel. I'm mm -hmm. just kind of Martha. Come up. With, yeah, that she come said, up with the sentence. Get that broom and sweep the floor is what she said. Right. <laughs> so she's peel. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, wait. Let me try this. 
Okay, but I need to, I'm trying to write that whole sentence down. <laughs> okay, coin pedal, uh, so that's the broom. And then you go get it. I'm, bah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm off, uh, I don't know. How, okay, how, say that again. Coin pedal, uh, go ahead, Martha. Thank you, Lana. Uh, uh, what are you saying? Go get the broom and sweep the floor? Yes. That one? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go about toying pin. Yeah. That's it right there. Okay. Let me write. Let me do that. peel about mm -hmm. go. They all peel. Okay, beha toy peel ah uh, to get it. Beha toy peel go. Peel go. the broom and yeah. Oh, peel go. Uh huh. Okay. But on um, peel, go ahead and sweep the floor too. Pick it up, take get a hold of it, and I'll pick it up and sweep the floor. That's basically what it is. Get the broom and sweep the floor. Okay. Okay. By her toy peel. Uh, no peel. Ga but toy peel. Toy peel. Okay. Okay. See if that's right. <laughs> you is that correct? On peel. Go but on peel. Yeah. On peel. I don't think so. Okay. Well, maybe we'll go over that one the next time. <laughs> Get it again. Okay. Ah. Oh, this was fun. I love doing these. Okay. All right. I'm going to copy this. I'll send it to Melody and maybe she'll send it out to everybody. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Side of what's going on around all right First well time. anybody have anything else uh -huh. thank you guys that was very interesting to me all right. um i want to say cricket before we hang up that sometimes going over small phrases like this kind of mm -hmm. helps the students i think pick up words rather than you know kind of keep it going back to things you were doing but i think it adds to your vocabulary you know things you don't hear all the time and to go over stuff it, it i think it helps this way too oh it helps me a lot because i hear you know like i got that other word for you know stick you know <laughs> and then i hear it you guys said it in three different ways and so that's very, that dope part, that's very interesting to me. And learning how to think correctly, not just, you know, but you, you, have, you have to think that way, think in a different way. So it's interesting. Aho. Uh -huh. mm. um, would you just say, aim ah? Um, Guto Hintali was asking, how do you, how would we say, come with me? Like if you were going somewhere and you wanted someone to accompany you, I know there's a different word because I know Ama is kind of, just, you know, come here, come here. a specific, like come along with me. Come along. They always think. That's Dolores, but I think it's not. They tie. He tie. tie. He has something new. Come with me. Okay, go ahead. But I want to make sure I say it right. Dolores. They tie. That's Dolores. Where is she? Yeah, that's it. 
Ain't I he? Ain't I he or ain't I he? Ain't I he? With the with ain't kind of one of those silent T's at the end. I guess. Ain't I he? Ain't I he? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, I I just wanted to make sure it wasn't. Oh, sorry. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't ain't I he or ain't I he. Sounds like he. Mm -hmm. Like he. Mm -hmm. She. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Ain't I he. Ain't I he. Ain't I he. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Omaha. Oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Now I'm gonna copy it again. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right. Go back. Okay. All right. So uh -huh. all right, that was fun. I might have to go back over the, you pick up the broom and you go over there and you sweep it up. <laughs> you wipe it up. I have, might have to revisit that one next week. So, aho. Uh Those are fun. Sweep the floor. Sweep the floors. Take the broom and sweep the floor. Uh oh. All right. Omaha. Miss Marion, would you like to um close us out with a prayer? Hey, the hey, the get myself situated. Where am I? I hold a dog. Hey, yeah, on time, dog. Yeah, yeah, dog. No more day ain't so it's on and all they keep it up. Go and get gumball dog. They go pay dog. Ain't they keep it. They go go and slide dog. Ain't go and go and don't get eight more hand money. Go and don't get on. Go and hold on. Go and go. I get so eight more hand tall dog. But no hand on other eight dog, yeah. They they go go got hold a got hold go. They go on a a good my ma go on a hand great dog. And on the key, so long, hang it. Hang the gagger. Pick it up. Got thing. Go and don't get it. Good. Get to cook the top. What about boy the top? And on the key, they away. They on the key. Oh, cool, I did all go get Oh, quite good, my aim was. Sound of a girl. Boy, don't get it. Get boy, get Dog, you don't want to be a dog. They all make a hide, you know. Go, 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 go. Thank you, no. But hide, I'm filled away. Go, on they talk. Don't say, they know. They all make a hide, you know, they talk. And go and go there on the dog. Don't call on that dog, yeah. Dog, yeah. I hold it down. Oh, my heart, dog, yeah. Don't hide it. There you are. And on the dingo side of the dog. On the stable hang on. Dog, dog, yeah. I'm 
I hope. Oh, well, I had fun tonight. Thank you, guys. Thank you, elders, very, very much. Speakers, I hope. I got my oil. Good night. Good night. I get so, uh, it's a long night.